Well, I'm ready to go get out here and test this thing fully rigged with all my fishing stuff. What's not on here right now is a pair of saddlebags. I've got those on order. And normally, I would put all the gear in this backpack in the saddlebags. But for today, it's got to go back here in my milk crate. And I'll stuff it in there here in a minute. I don't want the bike to fall over. But I've got everything on here. I've got my rods, camp stool, rod holders, bait bucket, got the helmet over there. And all the stuff that I'm going to hopefully catch fish with is right here. Now, it's kind of mid-March. I've heard that the whiting are running here in the surf, but it's still a little bit early for them to show up. So this may end up being more of a fishing recon than an actual fishing event. But at least I'll be able to get a good test of how the bike handles with this heavy load on the back. Well, I've got to go up a hill in heavy sand, down through heavy sand to get to the hard pack at the uh, water's edge. So let's get the helmet on. Let's get going. I'm about a mile into the trip and everything's going great. Got over that loose sand just fine. And as you can see behind me, I've been going up and down over these humps. And you can see how the sand gets really, really soft right over in here. And the bike has not had any kind of a problem. This is where fat tires and power to get up that mushy stuff really comes into play. Boy, it's a beautiful day down here. There's a shot of the bike all rigged up. Sweet. Well, I'll set up the camera over there and I'll run up and down these mounds a little bit so you can see how it goes. Well, that was fun running up and down these dunes. Well, I'm just going to go for distance now and see how the sand impacts the battery. Look at the erosion right here. The sand is washing away. Got to be careful when you're driving close to that ledge. Well, I'm three miles into this beach strip right now, and you can see all my gear is still firmly attached to the back of this bike. No issues at all. Now I am learning more about driving in the soft sand and the lesson is don't if you don't have to. Stay where it's either mushy or firm. Up in the soft sand, even with my tires down a little bit low, when you try and turn, boy, if you turn too fast, you know, you're going to take a spill. And I've had to catch myself a couple times doing that. But the bike had plenty of power to dig up the hills and out of any of the ruts. Well, time to get set up here. Let's see if I can catch a fish. Although, I talked to a couple of the fishermen on the way here, and nothing's running or biting right now. But, I'm here, that's not gonna stop me. Okay, let me tell you my strategy here real quick. It's the outgoing tide right now, but there's still a trench over here to my left that I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna use my long surf rod to cast out above the sandbar, and then I'm gonna fish the trench with my short rod. So you can see I can cast over where those waves are breaking, and there's a little bit of a trench, and I think that's where the whiting are supposed to be. I'm using sand flea fish bites on the big rod. 
And I've got a casting jig on the small. Beautiful day. Hope I catch something. Boy, this is the life. Sitting out here, beautiful day, not too hot, warm sun, beautiful surf, fishing. Having a little bit of snack, even sneaking in some chocolates because my wife isn't out here with me. This is great. Now, one thing I'd point out to those of you who don't have four-wheel drive access to this part of the beach is that, you know, an e-bike gives you that access or even a fat tar bike. Of course, with the pedal assist, it doesn't matter if you have to put on another mile or two because it's just nice, smooth exercise to get down here. Nothing biting yet. I kind of like having the water bottle here on my crate. Not in the way that I get on or off, and it's nice and easy to grab. No problem here on the lock either. I think this is rigged out for fishing. Okay, so what I think I'll do now, nothing happening here, is I've got plenty of batteries, so I'm just gonna motor on down the beach, maybe check in with a couple other anglers, see what's moving, and just enjoy the day. I ran into some really soft sand back there, I had to reconfigure got to be careful going on the soft sand. Well, time to head back to the truck. End of the trip, 9.5 miles. I did not start out on a full charge and I'm sitting at about 68% right now, which isn't bad going through all this sand. Now, the one thing I learned is you need to avoid soft sand. It's just not fun trying to get through there. Stick to the hard pack and you're gonna have a good time. I pedaled all the way so I saved power and did not use the uh, throttle all that much. One thing I did learn is I need to secure my melt crate a little bit stronger. I used four zip ties. I should have used thicker zip ties or more zip ties because it became a little bit unstable with all the weight I was putting in it. Bottom line is, this is gonna be a great bike for beach fishing. Can't wait to get out to the surf. Thumbs up to Magicycle. Comments, throw them down below.